The new IDS Bulletin pushes the boundaries of scholarly publishing, incorporating both academic rigour and high production values with accessibility and affordability. We publish all material under Creative Commons licences with minimal restrictions. Every article is subject to a rigorous peer review, but our editors seek multiple perspectives, supporting authors with less experience in journal publishing and inviting think pieces from practitioners and other non-academic authors. We relaunched the IDS Bulletin as an open access journal because we wanted to ensure that research around cutting edge policy issues was instantly available to all those who needed it, be they academics in India, NGO workers in Haiti, parliamentarians in Pakistan or UN agency workers. We also wanted to make sure that the voices and perspectives of those who are often marginalised can really be heard in the northern dominated din that so often characterised publishing around development research. The open access is part of that, uh, for me personally, part of staying up to date in my field as a practitioner, which is really important. Um, and, and the knowledge coming out of the ivory tower, of course, is crucial, and particularly with the current emphasis on research into practice. If we don't make the research easily and openly available to people, how are they going to put it into practice? We built on and expanded existing open source software, creating a new website for the journal. We devised an innovative business model which does not pass on production costs to authors as article processing fees in the way other open access journals do so. We actively seek contributions from the Global South and not just from scholars but from activists, NGOs, people working in multilateral agencies and other frontline workers. Since going open access, article download figures have more than tripled. Articles are widely cited, shared on social media and reviewed by bloggers. 40% of the articles published in the last 10 issues were written by southern contributors, including from Afghanistan, Egypt, Ghana, India, Kenya and Mexico. Dynamic global contexts and challenges require new kinds of research and knowledge, developed and shared in new ways and the IDS Bulletin is leading the way in linking research excellence with those at the heart of the changes we wish to see.